that and then let's change the setting one inch inset okay all right then uh, extrude all right and then let's change the amount of extrusion actually I need minus extrusion like that all right click OK let's see yeah like that so we have a kind of this kind of empty drawer so select this and I'll go to top view and then uh, let's move it's it's proper okay uh, and let's move this drawer uh, to align all right so now you have this kind of empty box actually it should be aligned with it should be goes uh, get back a little bit I think that's enough right then uh, I'm going to make top and bottom plate of cabinet so let's go to top view and wireframe view and then let's go to uh, rectangle again and then click and drag all right around here and then let's make length like a 22 inch and then let's move like here okay so um, then uh, let's go to left view and then we are gonna extrude this rectangle okay so go to modify and then uh, let's go to extrude then maybe one inch oh, one inch so um, then let's move to align the top of cabinet then uh, we need bottom also so let's move let's copy okay so press shift and hold then move Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, here. So, let's see. All right, now we have a um, top and bottom plate, right? Then we need a um, side and back plate. So let's create a back plate first. Go to back. Then um, once again, let's use rectangle. Click and drag. Right. Then um, first of all, actually, we need to move. right then let's extrude let's go to modify list and then extrude okay one inch is enough and let's go to top view and then let's align all right so now we have a back plate and then uh, we need side plane okay so let's go to left view then uh, we need rectangle again click and drag all right 
then let's go to top view and then select and move right then you can extrude select and let's go to modify and extrude all right so from top view now you can place it to proper location around here and then you can copy okay to proper location at the opposite, opposite side so that's it now you have a uh, this kind of um, exterior view of cabinet <coughs> then um, we need uh, the legs of uh, in the back part so I'm gonna throw the legs uh, uh, for here and here so let's go to top view then uh, actually this one was 1.5 by 1.5 so I'm gonna draw rectangle 1.5 by 1.5 okay so uh, then uh, let's go to left view okay then uh, I forgot uh, uh, the height of this cabinet of this uh, including the legs actually so uh, I'm gonna measure it okay so can you re remember the helpers helpers and tape measure okay so from here to here actually it was um, uh, almost 21 inch okay so I'm gonna just uh, apply 20 inch okay so this will be uh, extruded um, so let's extrude 20 inch Okay, then let's align with here, then at the top view we can place here, then let's copy, okay, press shift and hold you can move right then here so now you have uh, legs at the back side now I'm gonna add door handle so let's go to left view then let's draw a rectangle 3 inch by 1 inch okay and then uh, let's go to top view then uh, let's extrude this handle okay so um, go to modify and go to extrude okay and then maybe 0.5 inch okay so now you have this kind of simple shape of door handle then uh, let's go to left view And then you can move at the center. 